Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthiar, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within Long War. Classic Iron Man, this is the second wave. We're off to Vancouver, Canada, pretty close to my old stomping grounds. We've got to handle an alien invasion right there, so without further ado, let's get to the squad. Okay, we're looking at a roadway. So, in addition to Van Dorn, the infantryman leading us out, we have a uh, Lance Corporal Lori with the sniper rifle kind of backing us up, and then four rookies. This uh, right now is allowing me to have the med kit on the sniper, so the rookies all have grenades of one, sh one shape or another, so that should uh, let them be a little bit more aggressive, perhaps. There's a lot of roadway maps, so I'm not quite sure where we're getting ourselves into. Construction roadway. Okay. In Canada, panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. The cover is interesting on this map. There's quite a few high cover locations, and you can uh, use it to your advantage, but also find yourself in a dangerous situation pretty easily. So it's uh, good to try to keep momentum, but uh, at the same time, you want to be real careful about overextending, trying to get those flanking shots. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, we start back in the corner. So, what I'm probably going to want to do is get my sniper around here or even up here so that uh, she's going to have a clear field of fire. But it, what it's really going to come down to is where we make that initial contact. So that's exactly why I opted to check that first, was because my sniper already has a good firing position on those guys. Or on that location, anyway. Affirmative. Do we have height advantage here, I wonder? No. I think I would need to have like another tile vertical uh, stuff going on there. guys, even after the promotions. I'm on Looking forward to laser weapons. So take one of them completely out of the, you know, the fight for the round. Nope, they're just taking shots. Well, if you want to miss, I'll take that. Two thirties. Okay, we're good. Ouch. 
71. That one's much better. I get height advantage here, but on the... That's weird. They're both on the same level, aren't they? Huh. Maybe it's not tiles, because he is standing on some dirt, maybe? That puts him, like, a tiny bit higher? Maybe it's actually, like, some kind of, like, actual height calculation. I don't know. But, uh, 71? Alright, I'll take that. Doesn't mean I'll hit it, but... Alright, so I was able to get that guy, so I need to try to kill this one. Bloody hell. No joy here. Moving out. Jesus, people. I mean, I understand that these aren't exceptionally high percentage shots, but, I mean, statistically, I would have thought one of them might have connected by now. You're just kind of stuck back here, aren't you? No good angles. Nope. That's what I get for hoping. I done. really need to know better than that by now. I'll try to make one of them at least kind of inconsequential. I've got a page roll. Oh, that's not what we want. That will do though, I will take that. Ooh, he's getting close. 20%? Whee! Overwatch. There we go. I kinda thought that was going through the tree there, but uh... Get rid of that overwatch. Moving. Don't quite think that's a flank, but it's close. Can you get it? 58? Ugh. Damn it! Enemy is still alive! I don't like having to use these half cover locations, I really don't. Still only a 77. This is... This is... Inconceivable! I love that movie, Princess Red. So I'm really likely to get someone hit here. Um, I'm gonna have to try a maneuver to keep people from getting flanked. I'd like to move and try to start getting a flank on this guy, but uh, I'm really likely to... Uh, uh, activate the third pod. Oh, so everybody's going to be sitting in uh, low cover. Well, not everybody, but lots of people are. Thirty-six. Incoming over here. All right. And your friend. Thirty. See, one of these is going to hit. <laughs> So I really need to uh, <laughs> kind of start getting this taken care of here. 61? Yeah, sniper. Leaves us with just the one. Does anybody near him have a flashbang? Uh, I'm going to regret this if it activates.
but it did not. Okay. Alright, you sexy people. Get up there and get overwatches out and get ready to bum rush this guy next round. Sir. Of course, infantry's out of ammo, but... Weapons hot. After he's scared, he may just try to run. But then he has the flashbang, he may not be able to get anywhere. So he may take a low percentage shot. Or Hunker. Hunker will do the trick. Amazing. Now we just kind of try to get reloaded and reset, and just kind of in a position. Oh, sniper mobility. She's gonna be out for a little, little bit here, a couple turns. Get into position. So unless they patrol into me, hopefully I'll have time to dash her up here and then, uh, nice. Alrighty then. Now I just wish I knew where the aliens are. Back there. Sight briefly, but I am hoping to get them into Overwatch shots here as they try to advance. Really gonna kind of need these to work too, because you, however, I might be able to get you around and on top there to uh, catch from another flank. Here they come. Ugh, 28. Quite sure why it was that low, but 46. No. Nope. That's kind of what I'm thinking. He's taking the shot. Taking heavy fire. Come on, 44. Get him, get him, get him. Killing me, Smalls. Adjusting aim. I need ammo. 30. It was really only a matter of time. We avoided a whole lot of 30% shots there. Only can see one. I don't think I got him though. Well, maybe I did. Nice. You know, at this point I'm almost to where I just... Just, can this be done now? You, well, you do have your pistol. Hello. Can't see him because of that little crate there. Affirmative. Uh, do I just kill him? Oh, I have a shot. 41. Moving out.
I think this is the only way to ensure that I get the meld. <laughs> oh, he's so intense. Grenade! Excellent work. All objectives complete. You absolutely have to love Van Dorn. He's such a great guy. This is a character who's a lot of fun. An impressive effort. I'm glad our troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's because of that. <laughs> the sniper was really kind of hogging the kills. Uh, though, to be fair, I'd, I'd much rather have to take the the uh, rookies on a second mission than risk getting shot up by leaving guys alive when I don't have to. Van Dorn makes corporal, which means... Unfortunately, he didn't take cover fire because he gets steadfast. Like, you just get him that way. Um, but, uh, so I could try and make him like a... Uh, like a tanky infantry. Which isn't the worst... You know, the worst thought ever. Um, I could take him for will to survive so you get extra damage reduction, more will. Um, then I could give him... Maybe some damage? Go Ranger? Lock and load, I think, is kind of a requirement for infantry, so you can reload and fire in the same round. Uh, immunity to critical hits, that's kind of disgusting. Oh, man. Decisions. Well, not having cover fire, I'm still going to go with the Overwatch infantry. That's just the, how I use them, and I probably wouldn't remember to uh, change that tactic up. Um, otherwise, so 31 meld. So that means there were three canisters, and we did it fast enough that we got all of them. That's awesome. We will be in touch, Commander. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, satellites. Satellite launched. Okay. It's really unfortunate that Argentina was the one that bowed out. I, I actually cannot remember a game that I've had recently where it has not been in South America. And the reason that's so annoying is that uh, when I start, especially when I start in North America, but just in general, um, well, no, North America, or if I were to start in Africa, but I haven't started in Africa for a long time. Um, so your two uplinks get you the three satellites you need here. If you build a third uplink, that's going to get you the one plus one for connectivity. And that lets you get a second continent. However, since Argentina left, screwed. <laughs> um, so it is what it is. Now, if I, uh, depending on how fast I get access to Nexus's, Nexi, the improved satellite building, which lets you get uh, two satellites plus the connectivity, I can put, throw that one up, and then I can get probably Africa. Well, because Europe and Asia are both four. Um, but Africa would give me a bonus on, if I remember right, it's labs and uh, workshops. Cost less. Um, yeah, and, and maintain. That's actually a, a pretty, pretty awesome little bonus there. If you think about it, anything, anything that has to do with like monthly maintenance reduction, is like extra funding in you know in effect you know, is there anything left for this month or are they out I will absolutely take the scientist interceptors back up I will absolutely take the scientist of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So, normally I would probably have a couple missed you. Well, actually, they're all scouts. I may not have missed any in this month, even without the changes to the air game. But, uh, we will be it's March. March, while your troops aren't very good, 
neither are the nearly neither is the alien threat. It's still pretty low, um, as annoying as it can be. Of course, if you get really unlucky, they'll still just roll roll you over, and uh, you're kind of screwed. But uh, now that we're into April, things get a little more interesting. Um, the uh, we're gonna start seeing floaters, seekers, thin men on normal missions. Uh, we're gonna start seeing larger UFOs. We're gonna get raiders, fighters, which reminds me. Like how missiles don't take very long. I mean, I did I did reduce the time to rearm for alien weapons too, but missiles are really short, which is good. We're gonna get two dudes with stingrays since we can start seeing fighters. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. As soon as I finish that generator, I can start getting all kinds of goodness. I can build a lift, I can start getting a workshop going after the lift's done, I can, yeah, it's I'm just waiting on... What little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. Well, we're trying anyway, but, yeah, conquering, they're, they're, they're out for something else. Contact detected. Speaking of uh, raiders, here we go. So let's, uh, we're gonna send up Tripper first. And assuming he doesn't kill it, then we can try to poach it with the uh, guy that has one, uh, zero kills so far. We have eyes on the bandit. Lost the bubble. I think I got hit hard. I don't know. We didn't get a lot of hits there. May not be able to get him with this uh, flight officer either. Bangs out. No joy here. That dude was not missing anything. Contact detected. I really want him dead. Engaging bogey. There we go. So, our first medium UFO. It's unidentified, it's a raider. We, we know that just from prior experience, but it's a UFO 4, it's downed in Canada. We're gonna get a, a team out there and be a little bit more stiffer resistance than we were getting in uh, March, both because of alien types and also there's going to be more of them since it's a medium. But until then, I really hope that you've enjoyed the episode and the series so far. It's definitely going a little better than it was in our uh, in the, my first try. So I hope that we can kind of keep that going and uh, kick these aliens off our rock. So I hope to see you guys again soon as the series continues. And until then, take care.